Hello everyone, welcome back to the ATM Moto channel. In the part 2, we will pay the same six vehicle with the same old black and white shadow tone. Black primers the whole vehicle and then grey grammar shoot from the top down. Why from the top down? Well, to create shadows, it's in the name of the techniques. It creates an illusion of shadows where because the ray surface will be a little bit brighter than the lower surface. To the other experienced modelers out there, you can just primer and then use the filler color or washes color for the surface differentiation. I will do the three color camo pattern for this vehicle and I will do it freehand with the Empress without any masking. Okay, let's start with the Russian green, the S303. The color name is FF34102. As I always do with acrylic, I will paint two or three layers very thin until the color starts to build up. If the paint is too thick, or you pan too many levels, the shadow will disappear. All of the effort of the black and white techniques will be lost. As painting, always move your hands around to avoid flashing, but also do not wave too fast, or the paint will spill out and you have a mess on your workstation. Okay, next color is the X73 dark green. It's my choice. You can use any color you want or you can use the color like in the manual. So for this color, as it's a camouflage pattern, I will remove the airbrush head cover and lower the pressure to about 14 to 17 PSI. To freehand camo, we will need the airbrush pretty close to the surface of the model and when you lower the pressures you can avoid the paint flashing or the spider web uh, all right sorry for the camera angle but uh, you get the idea just follow the pattern uh, get the airbrush very close to the surface and then just paint on and after the green, dark green uh, we will move to the x47 uh, the red browns I have to add a little bit of putty and then sanding them up and I paint the black surfaces to check if there's still any gap and this is uh, tedious because it's harder for the green to build up on the black grammar so we just paint on a layer of gray surfaces so the green can build up faster
Okay, I will use the X73 dark green again for the missile. And because in my reference photos, uh, they are a little bit darker than the Russian green on the vehicle. After waiting for the paint to cure about 24 hours, I will mask the missile head away from the body, then paint the missile tip white. After that, I will mask the other area and paint the yellow strip from the missile. Yellow, orange, and white are the most difficult color to build up. Uh, you have two choices. You can pay more layer until it show up, or you can add another layer of gray grammar. At much time, if there is some paint build up at the edge of the parking staff, you can use the, the fine sandpaper, 1,500 or 2,000 grit to set it down a little bit. It's okay. Alright, it's good enough. I have one little mistake here as I forget to mask the stabilizer. You can see that the yellow strip go over the stabilizer. Uh, okay, I think I might need to use the brush to paint them um, by hand with a green color again. But it's okay. Okay, I will use the provided track from the kids. It's ugly, it's hard, piece and not movable, but it's okay. I will not move this vehicle around. I just follow the usual flow for the tracks. Primer and then dark metal, dry brushing in the race area with silver. And then I just add some rust pigment. Dry brush is the technique when you paint with the brush, uh, you just dip the 
brush in the silver a little bit and then you use a paper towel to dry off the paint you will dry uh, almost most of the paint and when there's a little tiny bit of paint left on the brush you press it directly into the park surface the right surface will pop out well out of that is the rust pigment step um, I'm, I'm pretty lazy you know so I would just use the brush again to apply it directly And this kit has just a few pieces of accessory. So I just use the new wood for the track lock, the rubber black for the spade handle, uh, metal steel for the spade and hammer, and the axle has.
And after the pen dry, I just I have already add a layer of Tamiya panel line accent brown, but somehow I lost the footage. So you guys just uh, imagine. Or you can check my other video about accessory from the M113. And uh, anyway, it's just a wash layers to naturalize the wood color for the lock and the tune handle. It's no big deal. You can skip it. And that's it for the episode. Um, I'm trying my best to shorten the video as some of you have suggested me in the comment. Uh, so there's quite a few steps that will not be in the content. Well, feel free to message me to add anything. I'm not hiding anything. And don't forget to like and subscribe. So that's it. Goodbye, see you.